What is going on guys? My name is Tino and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're chasing after those stoked feels. Today we're getting into some hidden fates right here and I'm so excited to get into this set. I've been wanting to get into this set for so long. It features a ton of Gen 1 Pokemon which were the ones that I grew up with back in the 90s and I've watched a ton of Hidden Fates openings and it just seems so nostalgic with all the first generation Pokemon in there so I'm so excited to finally be getting into this right here. This is the Elite Trainer box and this is actually the reprint so the way you can tell is the background here that's made up of all these Pokemon in gold you actually can see them a little bit more clearly in the reprint but in the first print they were a little bit more subtle so just a minor difference there and I hear that the pull rates out of the reprints are not so good I've heard a lot of mixed stuff with the reprints so we're gonna get into this it's an older set it came out I believe at the end of 2019 and it was launched during the Sun and Moon era this is a promo set so it's a very special set no booster boxes exist just an ETB very similar to Shining Fate so just want to give you guys a bit of a look on the back of the box right there and I just want to get into this thing like I mentioned I've been waiting so long to get into Hidden Fates I can't believe back in December when I was first getting into the hobby again I could find these less than a hundred bucks on the secondary market now they're going for well over a hundred bucks and I was never able to find them retail so I had to just pick them up on the secondary market but yeah here it is you get the player's guide right there if you guys ever open etbs it kind of tells you a little bit about the set what you can look for uh there is the actual list of cards so it's not a huge set but it's that shiny vault those secret rares that make this a bigger set so there's a cool moltres zapdos and articuno card right there the shiny vaults a bunch of really great cards here and there is the big man himself charizard gx right there Hopefully we can get that. I haven't been able to get any of the big Charizard cards. I'm so bummed. So hopefully this will be the first one here. Then some artwork there. My favorite Pokemon is Mew. And then shiny Charizard is pretty dope as well. It's got to be up there. And so here is the box. Let's get into this. Woo! Stoked feels are lifting the hairs on my arms. All right. Here are our packs. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh man set these to the side just for a second what you get here is some stuff for playability but i think these are called damage counters and then you have the die then you have some dividers here in case you want to use the elite trainer box to actually sort out some of your box so these are really handy don't throw away the boxes because you can definitely store some cards in there check this out this is the sleeves that this box comes with how awesome is that? Such an awesome mascot or mascots, I should say, that they went with for this set. Right here, you have a ton of energies. Right here, you have a code card. So anyone who's lucky enough to snag that, that is an ETB for the online TCG game. And lastly, this is really cool. You get the stained glass promo card of all three legendary birds. Has to be one of my favorite, if not my favorite promo Ever. It's such a unique card. No other card like this exists. I don't know why. I think it's it's fantastic. And I think if Pokemon ever did another stained glass promo like this, it would be in that chilling rain set that's going to be coming out later in the summer because that set features the Galarian legendary birds. So how awesome would that be if they bring that back? But yeah, I started buying these like even before I bought ETBs. I thought that was such a cool promo. Anyway, let me go ahead. I'm gonna set everything to the side here and that way we can get into our booster packs I mean, can you guys tell that I am excited to get into this set? I am so stoked Just look at the art packs here the different artwork that they went with for these packs You have shiny Charizard you have the legendary birds Mew Mew about time Mew gets on a pack you have shiny Mewtwo there so just fantastic artwork here. I'm gonna start off with this shiny Charizard pack, right? Why not? But I think if you are going to get into a modern set and you're kind of like confused and up in the air with what to go with, I say definitely go with Hidden Fates. Whether you look at it from a value standpoint or just artwork and collectability standpoint, it takes all the boxes. One of the most popular sets out there, I've bought a lot of Hidden Fates products 
from the secondary market but if you are lucky you can still find it in big box stores like the tins the etbs but let's see i think the card trick here is three because it is from sun and moon era so i hope i didn't mess that up but here we go we have brock's grit of course a main gym leader from the show and then of course misty right they were always by ash's side pokemon center lady we have ekans a team rocket favorite Caterpie, Ash's very first Pokemon that he ever caught. Paris, we have a Charmander, my favorite starter. Slowpoke, we have Fisherman, full art. Okay, I completely messed that up. What is going on? Or did I? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Eevee Hollow, okay, interesting. And then the energy in the back, okay. I didn't mess it up. It's four to the front, obviously. There we go. We got a freaking full art on the first pack. Let's go with Mew on the second pack here. There's that code card. Get it while you can. Now, one, two, three, four. Yes, I declare a thumb war. Let's go fairy energy, no longer in existence. So rest in peace, fairy energy. Metapod, okay. We have Sabrina's suggestion, my favorite gym leader from back in the day. Charmeleon, let's go. Does that hint at anything? Psyduck, my second favorite Pokemon if you didn't know that. Clefairy with that fairy energy. Magikarp. Ekans, I think this is the second, second Ekans. It's another artwork for it. Voltorb. We have Eevee Reverse Hollow. That's pretty sweet and it's a different Eevee than the other one. So they must have two artworks here. And in the back, we have Arbok, non-hollow, rare. And oh man, like look at that artwork, dude. Jesse is, is right in the back there. How awesome is that? Dude, I am loving this set. Uh, I don't know, have any of you guys gotten into Hidden Fates? Drop me a comment down below. And if you've also gotten into Shining Fates, let me know which one you like better. For me, and this is only like two packs in this is my third pack ever of hidden fates i'm gonna say hidden fates does it for me all right let's go we have lightning energy charmeleon metapod jinx coming at you with all the love jigglypuff don't let it fool you and put you to sleep ekans geodude we have cubone we have eevee so it's like the reverse hollow we pulled and we have a shiny vault Viper. let's go not too shabby three packs in heck yeah look at the spread you guys hidden fates delivering the goods i'm loving this i'm just having such a good time i am stoked to be getting into hidden fates let's go water energy nurse joy why do they call her pokemon center lady it's nurse joy Sabrina Scyther, look at that card, so epic. I know it's an uncommon, but still. Pikachu, love that Pikachu artwork. Magikarp, I love how it's like, almost like a, a drawing, a painting. I don't like so much like that 3D style artwork. I really do like it when they draw things out. Like this coughing, look at that. Clefairy, we have Staryu with a reverse hollow golem and we have an Electrode non-hollow rare. Woo! Look at that. Does that look intense or what, dude? So I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am because I have a ton of more Hidden Fates products that I'm going to be unboxing on this channel. This is already one of my favorite sets. I'd have to say the other set that I really, really, really like besides Hidden Fates uh, so far was my very first video of Evolutions, which I'll also be getting into again. But yeah, I will definitely snag up Hidden Fates whenever I can. That way I can keep opening it. So that way you guys can keep chasing those stoked feels. Let's go, we have Misty's Determination, Scyther, Jinx, Geodude, we have a Pikachu, Clefairy, and I just noticed, look at all the other little Clefairies, they're doing that little moonlight dance, remember? We have the Cubone, we have a Jigglypuff, ooh, look at that, Jesse and James, what a great duo, I feel like they were always good deep down, even though they were a little cranky and always wanted to steal people's Pokemon, and we have Misty's Water Command, woo! I am loving this. I don't even know if these cards are valuable or even that rare to pull. I'm sure it's not um, just because it's a regular hollow and hollows for some reason don't mean too much these days like they did back in the 90s. But I'm just loving this artwork. Even this Jesse and James right here. 
Reverse Hollow. So awesome. This definitely makes me feel bad that I didn't get into Pokemon at least a year ago before all the craze and maybe I could have afforded to get into so much more but hey it's all good right? Better late than never and if you're one of the people that just got into it too. Welcome to the club. I only got into it back in November or December, but I collected Pokemon cards back in the 90s as a kid. Kind of left it when I went to like middle school slash high school, got into sports and did other stuff with my life, but back at it again, chasing after those stoked feels. Here we go, Reverse Hollow Magmar, and we have a Kangaskhan non-hollow. It's definitely nostalgic getting into all this stuff again. Let's go, we have a couple packs left. Fire energy. Woo. Magmar, Farfetch'd, Brock's Pewter City Gym, remember that, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, and I just gotta throw this out there, I remember watching a Pokemon card opening of somebody opening up vintage stuff, and somebody called Caterpie Caterpie. Caterpie. I mean, like, how can you mess up Caterpie? Like, Caterpillar? <laughs> I, I just thought that was so funny. But no hate, you know, I just laughed out loud. Reverse Hollow Psyduck with that massive headache. What's lying behind it? Oh, Pinsir GX. What is going on? You don't see Pinsir too much these days. Definitely one of my favorite bug Pokemon. Man, I got so excited for this Pokemon card opening that I wore my Gengar Shadow Punch t-shirt, the one that I just got from the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I was getting ready for those Kanto vibes. Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Missy Cerulean City Gym, Voltorb, we have a Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Metapod Reverse Hollow, and Mr. Mime non-hollow. Dude, how funny was Mr. Mime in Detective Pikachu? <laughs> really brought that Pokemon to life. All right, guys, last two packs. Let's go with this Mewtwo artwork right here. Let's see what we can pull out of it. There's the code. We have a Dark Energy, Rock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Missy Cerulean City Gym. I feel like they went in that order for the last pack. Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Ooh, nice. This is my very first reverse hollow or full hollow or whatever you want to call it for an energy and it's a psychic energy. It's pretty sweet. And in the back we have... Oh my gosh, dude. What? Yes. Woo, baby. Look at that. We just got the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX Rainbow. This is a secret art and I don't know how easy this is to pull, but it's the 69th card out of the 68th and it is actually an alternate artwork of the promo card that this ETB provides. Then of course we have the very first reverse hollow energy that I was super excited about, completely forgot about it. Look how uh, off center that is. Like the border of the bottom, so much larger than the top. No quality control, but that's all right. Very last pack here, shiny Charizard. Can we get it? That'd be dope if we can get the shiny Charizard GX. Very hard card to get. We just opened Champion's Path the other day, and I would say it's probably up there in terms of pull rates. So a very difficult card to get. Let's go, we have Lightning Energy, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Voltorb, Reverse Hollow, and Starmie GX. Okay, whoo, got really, really excited there for a second, but this is really good too. Full art last pack all right so here are our hits we have starmie gx we have the rainbow secret rare tag team gx card of the legendary birds we have the pincer gx the full art fisherman and then the shiny vault sir viper so i'd say we got some pretty good hits out of that etb not sure why everybody is complaining about the reprint but i was so stoked to finally had gotten into hidden fates and to have pulled these amazing cards. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Hidden Fates. If you like this video, smash that like button. It definitely helps out my channel, gets these videos out to more people. I cannot believe 
that we are well over 50 subscribers so far. If you guys keep watching, I'll keep opening Pokemon cards. I'm having such an amazing time and I hope you guys are as well. And lastly, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep chasing those stoked feels.